Hey, this is Raman Gill. Welcome to episode 12 of the 10,000 Trade Show. This show is all about mastering trading and creating excellence through deliberate practice and analysis of 10,000 trade setups. In this episode, we'll take a look at market correlations. We don't trade Forex in a vacuum. All the different markets are interrelated, whether that's equities, commodities, or anything else that you are trading. In this episode, we will dissect a trade based on US dollar CAD. Oil and Canadian dollar are positively correlated. What that means is that when oil goes up, Canadian dollar goes up as well. When oil goes down, Canadian dollar goes down as well. So let's go onto the charts and take a look at how can we identify a trade setup based on market correlations and how do we trade this profitably. Today, I wanted to share with you a topic that most retail traders miss. This is something that is not taught in most of the courses, so I thought I will share this with you. And that is the interrelationships between different financial instruments. So it doesn't matter what you're trading, whether you're trading Forex, commodities, stocks, or indices, the market is related. There's interrelationships that exist between different asset classes and you'll see the money flows from one asset class into another. So even though here I focus mainly on Forex, I use these market interrelationships or correlations to my benefit. So let me show you how I do this through a trade example. We'll go on to our charts here. Here I have US CAD five minute chart and the interrelationship or correlation that we're talking about today will be between oil and the Canadian dollar. So the Forex pair that we would be discussing would be US dollar CAD. There is an inverse relationship between oil and US dollar CAD. When oil goes up, dollar CAD goes down or other way of putting it is when oil goes up, Canadian dollar goes up. So a little bit of background on this. Canadian dollar is a resource economy. In Canada, oil is one of the main exports. So oil prices go up, Canadian dollar will go up. When the oil prices go down, it will have a big impact on Canadian dollar and you'll see Canadian dollar go down as well. So let me show that with an example. And how do you actually use this information to make profit in your Forex trading? Here we are looking at, again, US dollar CAD chart. The first thing to do is have both of the charts open. So I usually keep my dollar cat chart and then my oil chart, which is WTI, open right beside each other so that I can flip between the two charts and I can see what's going on in the market. And what we are really looking for is the market to give us a cue as to when it's the time to enter the trade. And the way we do that is this. So here we have market pushing up, dollar cat pushing up, and finally, it comes into this support and resistance area over here. And once it does that, we see that the market starts pulling back from here. So this is our cue that we may have a trade setting up. Flip on to your oil chart. And here we see the opposite. We see the oil has been trading sideways and starts to push down, but then hits a support and resistance area. And finally, it starts to pull back from there. Once it starts hitting this, this is what we need to look for. And once the price is not able to break below the support and resistance area, go to your dollar cat chart and see if US dollar cat is doing the same thing, but in the opposite direction. Once we get this pin bar, you can enter a trade here on the close of this because now we know oil is coming into a support and resistance area and so is dollar cat. So you would take your trade here, put your stop loss above the pin, give it a few pips so that trade has some room to breathe. And you are looking for a short trade here because you're expecting the oil to go up at this point. And as you can see here, price is not able to break below the support resistance and oil starts pushing up. And as a result, we will see US dollar CAD pushing down. Once you see that the price is starting to run into support here, look at the time. This The time we entered the trade, it was exactly at 1600 hours, May 27th, 2016. At 1600 hours, we saw that dollar CAD was running into resistance here. And same time here, May 27th, 2016, 1600 hours here, oil had started running into support here. This is when we start looking for the trade and we enter the trade. And here, the time 
for this line here, when US dollar CAD starts running into trouble here is May 27, 2016 and 1900 hours. If we flip on to our chart here, we see that oil actually gave us a cue that US dollar CAD may start running into problem. And this was at 1840. So 20 minutes before dollar CAD turned around, oil had actually already turned around. As we can see, we had a pin bar and then inside bar and then a reversal candle, engulfing candle that would suggest that oil would pull back. Going on to our US dollar CAD chart here, as we can see there are two pins here. There is a bullish pin which would suggest that the price would start to turn around at this point and as we can see it kind of goes sideways and then finally turns around. So this is what we're looking for. You can look at your US dollar CAD as well as the oil chart, keep them side by side. They are inversely correlated which means when oil goes up, US dollar CAD will go down and when oil goes down US dollar CAD will go up. In this trade there was 55 pips and profit of $550 on one standard lot. Hope you enjoyed that trade setup. If you like this video please share it with your friends. Also don't forget to subscribe to the show so you can get the latest episodes. Thank you so much for joining me again on the show and stay tuned for another great trade setup tomorrow.